Welcome to my guide on what auras you should be aiming for on a fresh account. Keep in mind that you'll need loyalty points which is earned month to month. So it is semi time gated unless there is a premier yearly membership which offers it right then and there which I highly suggest you do buy. And before anything I would like to cover the PVM hub for war shop. So once you're at war you might be on the upgrades tab, go to the unlocks. Now this shop is different than loyalty points because this requires marks of war. These marks can be gained at a max of 1000 points per hour and depending on the boss depends on the amount of marks per kill. So let's say King Black Dragon gives you 10 points, you'll take 100 kills in that hour to reach the maximum amount. And now let's say you're going for a Raxor, you could give 180 points per kill. So you'll see like it'll take so much less time, but you can only gain the maximum of 1,000 points per hour. And then the first one will be Vampirism. This is probably the most important aura you will ever use. And that is because it saves so much food doing Slayer. And more importantly, while you're doing Godward Dungeon 1, this will extend your trip so much. Next up, you'll want to buy the Dark Magic for 12.5k marks of war. This is the best hybrid aura to get, and it's like the only one. It puts a little bleed on NPCs, which is fairly good. And it's only 12.5, so it only takes about 13 hours. Next up, you want to get either Berserker for melee, Reckless for range, and Maniacal for magic. It depends which style you do use more often, so that part's up to you. Now let's go over the actual auras. For here, you want to hover over the upgrades and actions, which this is Bond looking icon. Click on it. And then if you are on the events tab, click overview. Here you'll see the Solomon's General Store. When you click it, whew, this should pop up. So now from here, well this is a little bonus, but on the future it says free item for members. You want to claim everything, including the second page, which is 150 rebank space. Now, what we're actually here for, the auras. And again, keep in mind, since I do have 108,000 loyalty points, you can buy pretty much almost all the starter ones. But on the very first page, again, you want to buy the Brawler Aura with 5,000 points. This increases your melee hit chance by 3%. This is very good because you'll be first starting off with low, possibly one or like 40 attack, so that's good. The next one will be Enrichment. This increases your chance of gaining enriched energy for divination by 3%. This is only good once you are 85 plus divination, because that's when it really matters. Another one on this page will be Call of the Seas. I highly suggest you buy this as fishing is rather slow at the low level, so this just helps speed it up. Next up, on the second page, you are pretty much want to get just the green fingers aura, and this is only for farming. So again, on a fresh account, it could not be too useful, but it can help once you start doing herb runs. And then that's about it pretty much for this page. On page 3, however, you want to get the runic accuracy, which is for magic, and then trapper aura. This one increases your hunter chance by 3%, and it only requires 5,000 loyalty points, which is very cheap and helps so much because hunter kind of have to use the bait on box traps for them to have a very high catch chance. The quarry master is not really good, honestly. 
if it, it did something better I would get it next up on page 4 will be sharpshooter this increases your range accuracy by 3% by that next up will be the tier 2 boards keep in mind that for the ones that say locked you will need to buy them from the previous tier as you see four of them are locked and then since I had that basic brawler it's unlocked right there these ones they're not really good on the first page so I'll just skip over to the next one right here two very good ones would be the penance aura but this is only good once you have access to soul split and 95 fiber. so honestly don't get this right off the bat now if you do have 79 mining I believe you can make use of the resourceful aura for 23,000 points this is so you have a 10% chance to gain an additional sandstone which each sandstone is roughly 14,000 each so you do this as a daily thing and that's about it really on this one the third page here is probably the best in slot aura that you will ever buy and that would be the jack of trades for 15,000 loyalty points very basic one you will need to train, train 10 different skills within 3 hours to receive a bonus XP reward this makes daily escape a little bit easier for you because you only have to train 10 skills and I'll make a later guide on how to do possibly all tiers of them on a skill but this is very good because depending on the tier depends on like the XP lamp so if you get like a small medium large or even a huge daily and you could use this on any skill that you want so for starting off on like an iron account I would suggest using this on herblore as it is painfully slow and it's actually hard to get some uh, low level seeds because honestly slayer is terrible for herbal seeds next up on page four pretty much nothing and then nothing on five tier three it's pretty much the same you don't really want to buy anything although if you do have enough points aim for wisdom per aura this is 40,000 loyalty points and this is very good because in the increases all experience gain by 2.5 percent and lasts for 30 minutes Keep in mind that this has multiple tiers, so the next one lasts 60 minutes, and the next one after that lasts an hour and 30 minutes. This makes skilling very easy, although it's only 2.5%, but it does add up. Now let's go to tier 4. Your login session has signed up. Click continue. Tier. Eh, oh well. Well, I guess looking at the took a little too much time, but anyway, that covers it for what auras that you should be getting on a fresh account. Tier 4 and 5, they require too many months, possibly maybe even a year to even get the loyalty points to buy it. But with that, thank you all so much for watching this little guide and enjoy the rest of your day.